Some new pieces of PlayStation news and reports have surfaced recently, so let's dive into them. First up, the PlayStation policy issue that gamers are rebelling against. Times have changed since I started playing video games. Before, it was about just playing the game that a developer made, regardless of what fantasy they want to push out. If you didn't like it, you don't play it. But obviously, nowadays, it seems like it's more like, if I don't like it, everyone can't like it, or that's what you get when you land on Twitter. The issue, to sum it up, revolves around sexual content in video games. Now I don't think developers out there are straight up sexual deviants, but with all forms of media, movies, etc, some sexual content is always sprinkled in. I personally don't find that horrible. Both male and female characters are sexualized in some way, but that's just my thoughts. Falling back to Sony's case, there seems to be a conflict of word. On one side, Sony has stated that they haven't introduced new policies that developers have to follow in regards to sexual content in their games, and on the other, we have the Wall Street Journal reporting the following. To provide you some context before reading the statement, developers were complaining that they don't have any guidelines to follow when creating their game and only know that they need to make changes when they gave their game to Sony for review. They then go back to their game and have to make the changes which they state is very costly. Now reading the Wall Street Journal, and this is a direct quote from a Sony official according to them, we don't have criteria and written guidelines or that sort of thing because the policy was introduced kind of suddenly in the wake of the Me Too movement. And then you have the Japanese website GameShark revealing that Sony stated the following to them. New rules have not been introduced, new regulations regarding sexual expression regulation were established internally. Now, you can kind of think of what you want to say about internally maybe they decided to have these regulations already in place inside of sony but maybe now they're pushing it on developers harder than they used to again that's still not fair to the developer's side of you but i'm not sure who is not saying the truth or if the wall street journal sony official just isn't in the know but this isn't the first time when sony states something and it doesn't seem to be the case if you've been following my crossplay videos then you would know that sony states that they're open to crossplay but the truth is obviously another thing with many developer complaints to follow up on that i'll leave it up to you to decide what the truth is and what isn't but for me i think sony needs to be more more transparent but I understand I completely understand the need to cover your ass next up we have ps4 consoles crashing as a result of days gone's 1.06 patch update which I didn't download thankfully uh, reddit users are reporting that ever since they installed patch 1.06 their ps4s have been crashing with the op of the thread stating the following since the release of the patch my ps4 has hard crashed twice almost instantaneously I have tried multiple games and I'm not experiencing any such issue from what I'm reading from a couple of other people, I am not the only one experiencing the issue. The game is literally unplayable. Is anyone not experiencing this problem? In reply, some said they were fine even after update 1.06, while others have stated experiencing the same issues. The update has since been rolled back by Sony Ben, the developers, so crashing issues have clearly hit a decent amount of players to result in such a rollback. Hopefully Sony Ben resolve this issue soon and get a new update out there to fix other issues the game has. I just want to personally state that I've been playing the game and I've experienced some issues but nothing that has stopped me from wanting to continue playing the game and I've been playing the game roughly about 15 to 20 hours at this point. And finally, the final story of this video, another update on Kojima's upcoming game Death Stranding. Last time we got an update from Kojima, he stated that we would get a new look at the game in a month or so. Now we've got a new image from his Twitter revealing what looks to be work being done on a new trailer for the game. So it looks like we might actually be getting a new trailer around E3 time, which again pushes the possibility of a state of play happening around then as well, possibly, possibly revealing information on on Sony's other big games like The Last of Us Part 2, maybe a release date. But do you think Sony needs to be more transparent about its policies? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And if you did enjoy this video, please hit that like button. It really supports the page and I really appreciate it. And subscribe if you're new. I got new videos every other day except days there's something really interesting and I'll just post a video on that day. I'll check you guys out.
on the next one. And welcome back to the after show. This is the part of the video where we have a little fun down in the comments below. If you're old, welcome back. If you're new, welcome. For today's thing, what I want you guys to do, and we're gonna be a bit naive here, is to destroy, body harass, and obliterate the comment section with be more open, Sony. Again, being naive because obviously Sony is a business and it wouldn't be as easy to be more open. But you know, we could always hope. Let's stop the confusion. So if you feel the same way, destroy the comment section with be more open Sony and I'll definitely heart those comments like I always do because I appreciate everybody who stays to the end of my videos and now I'll check you guys out on the next one.